Hello everyone, this is GLE Video and I've got a short presentation to show you something that has alarmed me. It has to deal with the 900 megahertz ISM band. What you're looking at here is a power meter on the side of my house. It's a special power meter though. This is called a smart meter. Many of you may already have these. Power companies throughout the United States and in other countries are installing these and trying to blanket the entire country with smart meters at every home. What it does is allows the power company a uh, little more feedback frequently. They can peek in to see what your power usage is at any time. It eliminates the need to send out meter readers because they get this information wirelessly back to their headquarters. This power meter has two radio transmitters in it. One is a 900 megahertz radio, which is part of the uh, neighborhood wireless mesh network that these meters talk to each other with. The other is a 2.4 gigahertz radio, which this meter uses to communicate with other smart devices in and around your home. Could be your thermostat if you have signed up for a particular power um, or cooling uh, regulations uh, program through your power company it will communicate back to your thermostat to turn your cooling down on very hot days. Another thing it communicates with on the 2.4 gigahertz band is this. This is my gas meter. The gas meter also has a smart meter attached to it. And so since Baltimore Gas and Electric is both my gas supplier and electric supplier these two meters talk to each other and the headquarters receives all the telemetry and tallies up my billing and I get one bill for both of these uh, utility features. Besides the two radios, another thing that it has is this. This is a uh, optical infrared port. In uh, the instance that a utility worker needs to come out here and make any adjustments or if they've not been receiving the wireless telemetry, they can come out here and read the meter manually. He can take a handheld device, point it into that optical port, and make adjustments to the meter or pull out the readings, do whatever they need to do to it. And like I say, it, it communicates on a wireless mesh network, so it communicates easily with my neighbors, which is located uh, oh, probably about 50 feet away, and you can see it there on the side of their garage. And so theirs then communicates with yet another neighbor's and so forth. That's a chain reaction all through the neighborhood. Uh, each node in the network acts as a repeater. And so when one of the nodes in the far end of the neighborhood needs to report and transmit its uh, telemetry, it is repeated from the next neighbor to the next to the next to the next all the way across the neighborhood until it reaches the collection point uh, usually they're mounted up on a telephone pole or hanging upside down at a light pole. And from there it either goes into the cellular system or into a wired system back to the power company. I'm going to show you what this is doing to the 900 megahertz band right here. I'm using a uh, RF's, uh, RF Explorer handheld spectrum analyzer. And you can see that the signals on... 900, looking at 903 up to 930 uh, megahertz. The band is just full. And these things are transmitting all the time since they have to relay so much data from surrounding meters back to the uh, headquarters. They're constantly sending transmissions, either their own telemetry or they're relaying telemetry of about 15 or 20 other or more stations around. And they are frequency hopping and spread spectrum, so they're using a lot of bandwidth. So if you're like me and you enjoy um, video downlinking from remotely piloted aircraft, I like to use the 900 megahertz band, but here is the danger. If you're flying in and around or from a, a neighborhood setting, you're going to have to contend with all of this interference into your video receiver. It's uh, becoming more and more invasive as power companies obliterate the country with these power meters. 
This is GLE Video. Thanks for watching.